We're going to look live right now at our camera out on South Potty Round. There's some of your stronger uh, thunderstorms out over the Gulf waters, some good thunder uh, uh, clouds out there. So we have showers and storms out of the Gulf waters. We also have showers and storms inland as well. So there is what we're looking at right now. Just towards our south into northeastern Mexico is where an upper level, a low pressure area has been moving west where it was over the Gulf waters last couple of days. So we saw some sea breeze showers yesterday as well. Now a pretty consistent uh, area from uh, Rio Hondo, San Benito now just to your north, Rio Hondo over towards Harlingen now up towards Lyford, Raymondville seeing some of those heavier downpours. And again, the area of, of circulation is down here towards the south. That area is going to continue to move westward. So after today, unfortunately, it looks like our rain chances are going to go to zero and high pressure is going to build in across the area. So if you don't get rainfall today, we're hoping that you do. Uh, we're going to have to wait a little while. It's, we need it badly around here. We just need something widespread, uh, not uh, this minuscule of rainfall that we're seeing out there. So, again, from right around Bayview, seeing some of those heavier downpours, San Benito to Rio Hondo. Actually, now over towards Elsa and La Villa, just to the north of Mercedes, seeing some of those heavier downpours. And then moving up into southern and central Willacy County, some heavy downpours. So, some are going to get a little bit of relief. Again, we just need more of it. So we're going to keep that slight chance of sea breeze showers in the forecast for this afternoon, making their way possibly into the mid valley. But notice how a lot of these air storms are moving off towards the north. The whole area, though, is moving off towards the west down towards our south. So hopefully we'll get a few of those into the mid and upper valley today as well. Just chances are going to be extremely slim out on the island today. Looking at some of those showers out there, 86 degrees this afternoon. Rip current risk is moderate. Looking at a surf running around two to four feet. And that water temperature is at 80 degrees and out on the bay. Looking at a choppy condition out there. Sunset tonight at 817 and keeping a chance against showers for the Bay and coastal areas for this afternoon. So here's what we're going to be dealing with. So there is our area of upper level low energy moving off towards the west. High pressure to the north and to the east. As this continues to move westward, high pressure will build in from the east and from the north. And so hot dry, humid conditions will return for tomorrow. And we're going to start seeing those valley average high temperatures approaching 100 degrees once again. So the spigot's going to be turned off. And this is what we're going to be dealing with Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have a little bit of dust heading our direction as well. Speaking of the dust, so that's a look at the tropics. So we have dust out in the Atlantic, far reaches as well, moving in the Caribbean. So no tropical development expected over the next five to seven days. That combined with high pressure as well. And we've got high pressure in the Gulf. And again, our upper level low will be moving westward. And then out in the Pacific, we have a tropical wave. That's the yellow area here. Hurricane uh, was Hurricane Frank, now Tropical Storm Frank, 65 mile an hour winds in Georgette. Now just a tropical depression, 35 mile per hour winds. Both those systems moving off towards the west. And I mentioned the dust. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So right now it's moving through the Caribbean, about to enter the Gulf. By late Wednesday, early Thursday, expect to see it here in the valley. And this time around, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit stronger push of that Saharan dust. So this is Thursday morning, Friday morning, Saturday morning. It's going to be sticking around. Hopefully by the time we reach Saturday evening, it's all going to be out of here. So the second part of the weekend looking a lot less dusty, but still going to be looking at hot conditions. Hopefully, maybe a couple rain chances as we get into late in the weekend, early next week. Don't forget the Valley Storm Team weather app. It's available for free in your app store. Just search Valley Storm Team. And that actually works anywhere your travels take you, not just here in the Valley, but elsewhere across the country. Your seven day forecast then with the weekend always in view. And then, as I mentioned, we've got that dust out there. If that seven day wants to cooperate, <laughs> There, there you. sometimes it just does, you know. He's slow today. Slow. It's Monday. I don't want to talk about 100 degrees, right? Uh, 97 with those sea breeze showers today, then near 100 tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that dust. But unfortunately, uh, really today is going to be our best shot at rainfall for a while.